Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start with the story. AITA for ordering pizza at my friend's wedding, I attended a friend's wedding with my wife. There were about 70 people at the wedding mostly family members. We were seated at a table with some friendly people and had a good time chatting with them. The wedding ceremony was beautiful, and the bride and groom looked very happy. After the ceremony, every table received two bottles of wine and bread slash butter, and there was an open bar. We started to have a few drinks, and then the food was served buffet style. I was looking forward to getting some food in my belly when it was time to eat. The tables were called up in an orderly manner, but the family members at the first few tables took large helpings of food and even went for seconds before everyone had been called. By the time our table was called, there was no food left. We grabbed what little we could and went back to sit down and eat the scraps feeling hungry and frustrated. We joked about ordering pizza, and then I drunkenly suggested it. We all chipped in, ordered four large pizzas and some chicken wings from a nearby pizza place, and soon the delivery arrived. We shared the pizza with some other tables who didn't get any food either. This caused a commotion and upset the wedding party. When my friend questioned me about it, I explained that we were hungry and the food had run out before our table was cold. He wasn't pleased and suggested we should have stepped out to eat and then return, but I explained that we were drinking on an empty stomach and it wouldn't have been a good idea for drunk people to leave in search of food. This encounter left the bride glaring at us, but we felt it was the right thing to do. And that was not the end of the night's events. As we were finishing eating, one of the in-laws came to our table and he asked where the pizza came from. This is where I may be the awe. There were two slices left, I knew he was eyeing them. I asked the other people at my table if they wanted one, and everyone declined. This guy then said he'd have one, I then took the two slices, put them on my plate, and started to eat them, then looked at him and said something like, no, you and everyone at your tables had way more than your fair share of the buffet, and ate all of it, this is the reason we ordered food in the first place, and now you have the nerve to ask us to share. His face went red, and he returned to his table. There was a lot of discussion going on there, they were all looking back at us with daggers. The bride looked even more ticked off at us, she had a bit of an argument with my friend. He eventually came back to tell us we had to leave. I didn't mean to start any problems, so my wife and I called a cab and left. He called me a few days later, and we talked long. I explained my perspective, and he agreed that his in-laws were rude for eating all the food and leaving most other guests with very little. Many people complained to him about it, everyone was drinking, thinking that there would be food, and they were disappointed. He was upset with his in-laws because he told them how many guests there would be and to order the food for that many people. He also saw how much they were taking but assumed they ordered enough, he was wrong. He brought this up with his wife, who said that apparently, because the in-laws paid for the alcohol and the food, they felt entitled to eat what they wanted, she was mad at them and reamed them out for tainting her special day. He also said many of the other non-family guests started to leave soon after we left because they were hungry. They still had fun celebrating, but it put a downer on their special day. Out of 70 PPL, about 30 left. I also learned that the guy who came to our table was his Fael. Fael was embarrassed by what I said to him, he felt pretty bad when he found out that nearly half the guests didn't get to eat anything and left early. So I tay? Edit, I didn't think I would get this kind of response. There were so many comments. I went through a good chunk of the messages and thought that it would be easier to address the common ones here. The only reason I ordered the pizzas was because I was drinking. All I ate that day was a sandwich for lunch and some bread at the table, so I needed something more substantial in my stomach so I wouldn't get sick, so no I couldn't wait for a few hours. I wasn't the only person drinking because the open bar was booming. However, I guess I could have avoided drinking until the food came out. Those saying that I shammed the FIL. I disagree, I didn't say anything about his body. I was only honest with him about why I had to order the food. I don't judge people based on looks and accept everyone for who they are as they are. You can't judge a book by its cover, so I judge people based on their actions. If you knew me, you would see that my friends group ranges from basic people to freaks and weirdos. A good friend of mine named Crusher is a big dude, absolutely hilarious, and super fun to hang out with. This is not an AI-generated post, lol. My intelligence may be limited, but there is nothing artificial about it. The buffet was at my friend's request. He loves buffets, and this was an added touch to the wedding. He also chose the dishes. 
I know it is uncommon for weddings to have buffets, but that's what he wanted. Update First, I never state it when the wedding happened. The wedding was last week, on July 20. My friend just stopped by for a little bit. His wife was more upset than he initially said, but not at me, towards her family. He also said she wanted apologies for booting me. So, Fael feels bad, and will step up and try to fix the situation. He's going to throw an, after wedding Xing Ding, lol, his words. Everyone at the wedding will be invited, including me, my wife and some additional people, they think there will be about 100 guests. Fael also promised that there would be an assortment of food, more than enough for everyone, plus an army. He also wanted to let me know personally that there will be 50 large pizzas from the same joint I ordered from, that is his way of adding some humor to the situation. I think it's pretty funny lol. He's also going to hire a DJ, or a live band. Possibly have some fireworks and arrange other events like axe throwing and a bonfire. This sounds like it will be a really fun time, the only difference is that this will be a BYOB event, which is no big deal. Ifeo is pulling in a favor from a friend who owned a farm. The farm has two guest houses, and the main house has plenty of space outside. About 50 people can be squeezed between the three houses, so he will encourage people to bring RVs, I have one, campers, and tents, if they can. Nothing is official yet, but they want to hold the shedding around mid-August. Sounds like this is going to be a blast. I'll update you all you all when I can.